So this is a new food that she was like not eating. She was sniffing at it and she wouldn't eat it. So then what I did was grab a handful of her dry food that she really likes and put that in the same bowl with the wet food. And immediately she started eating this food. And it's not like she was eating around the dry, you know, the, the wet food and only ate the dry food. She ate the whole thing. I think she just needed a little bit of reassurance and patience to know that, you know, this is still food. She's a very cautious cat. So she just needed to know that this is still food and it's okay and she can eat it and the dry food smell probably helped more than anything. And she loves the dry food taste as well and texture. Sometimes she can be really picky about the texture of a new food. Like if it doesn't smell like or feel like what she's used to. Like I taught this little kitty cat to eat wet food because in the beginning she only knew that dry food was food because she would she was at this shelter, right? And she didn't know that the wet food was also food. And so there was a long period of time where I would always mix it for her and Baji. They came from the same shelter on the same day, as in I got them on the same day. They were there for different periods of time, um, different story. But basically, Baji was much more adaptable. He'll eat anything. He even likes to eat human food, right? So it's just, I'm talking about the diversity of kitty cats in the sense that, no, she's done. No, you, you could finish up now, Fuji. It's okay. See, Fuji was waiting to finish up once Miss Queen Suji is done. Then Fuji's gonna finish up. That's how we do it. Ladies first. Fuji had obviously his own meal already. The boys eat very fast and they eat more than the girl. And I don't really like to let him obviously eat her food so she gets it separately on the counter because she's so little you know I had to work on making sure that she was gaining weight and everything touch wood um when she was little like even more little I mean as I was saying she didn't really know that wet food was food She didn't know that wet food was food. And I had to mix it with dry food and the, the full meal would be like the wet and the dry mix so that she knew that that food was still food. So I'm just letting you know in case anyone's wondering if they got a cat that's not eating, you might need to try a couple different things like that. Because my baby here, Suji, can be very picky. She's probably the most picky of them all. Like, what I noticed also why she gets her food separately is that if she's like still deciding, like she hasn't decided if she's gonna eat it or not, she's still investigating. She, she takes her time more with understanding the texture of the food and this and that. So I realized by the time she's done all that decision making and investigation, her brothers have already eaten all her food. So I have to keep an eye on the whole situation and make sure that she's getting her own food separately and can get enough time. Like I didn't start recording this video because I don't actually have my phone, this is on my iPad. But she was like, basically the two boys were halfway through her, their meals already and she was still 
exploring if she wanted to eat that food or not. And it wasn't until I mixed in that little dry food that she even touched it. You know what I mean? So you just got to give her time. And she's my little baby girl. She's so small. There's Baji. Touch wood, he's gotten really big. And she used to be even smaller, like tiny. She had no weight. So one has to make sure that they're all eating properly. Hi, Mama. Hi, Fuji. Or not Fuji, sorry, Suji. <laughs> Hi, Mama.